my channel. So today we're going to talk about pop-up shops. Pop-up shops are a great way to network with other business owners and also to get customers. So if you are a new or established business, I would suggest that you try pop-up shops. We're going to prepare for one. I have one in one week. I'm going to show you how I do it. All right, let's get to the money. All right, guys. So as you can see, I have a table set up. So for this pop-up shop, they provide us with a six-foot table, you get two chairs, and you get an area to decorate. So you have to keep in mind that there are going to be other vendors there, um, so you can only do so much. You can't hang anything on the walls and things like that or from the ceiling. So I'm trying to decide what my um, design is going to be. Now, what I've decided, um, they gave us a theme actually. So the theme is going to be Mardi Gras. Mardi Gras colors are uh, green, gold, and purple. So that's what I'm going with initially. So what I have here so far, I have um, these emerald green, really, really pretty tablecloths. Um, have a couple of those. I have emerald green napkins, and this stuff was purchased from eFaber Mart. And then I have emerald green chair sashes. So the reason why I'm going so, um, I have so much emerald green is because I am an event planner. So with that being said, I want it to look um, more elegant and not like uh, so much, um, just so many different colors. I just want to show what I can do with these different colors. So I think my primary color is going to be, of course, the emerald green, and then I'm going to accent it, accent it with the other colors. We have a um, shibari chair, so we have actually two that I'm gonna use. And I'm just gonna place these outside of my table so that it looks very elegant. Um, we have a couple of chair covers. So with these chair covers, these are also purchased from eFable Mart. It's really, really pretty. It's like a velvet, soft, purple. It feels really, really good. It's really, really soft. Um, so that's going to be included in the design. I have four of those. And also, we have balloons. Now the balloons are definitely going to set it off and take the table to the next level. Um, what I'm going to use, or what I'm trying to decide on, is the backdrop. So I do have a circular backdrop that's seven feet, and then I have the one that's the square one that's also seven feet. So it's just trying to decide which one to use. I'm leaning more towards, towards the circular one, and that way I can attach my balloons to it. I purchased a couple of balloons. So of course we have the emerald green. That's gonna be our primary color. And then we also have these, which are of this royal purple color. My concern with this one is that the color of this purple and then the chairs, it's two different colors. Sometimes when you're ordering stuff, you may not be able to tell that it's going to be a different color. I tried to match them up as um, best as possible. I may even decide not to use this at all, the chair cover, because I'm gonna have the emerald green on the back of it. So I definitely have to use purple because it's part of my Mardi Gras. We have a couple of other, I ordered this balloon column kit. So with this kit, this was purchased on Amazon. So I did Amazon because a couple of the things that I ordered, wasn't sure if they were gonna come in enough time. So this kit has the Mardi Gras colors, it has green, gold, and purple, and it has some of the um, the glitter balloons, the balloons with the, um, the confetti inside. So it has some of those, I'm not really sure if I'm gonna use those at this time. But I like to do the mock setup because the more you play around with it, you can kind of get a feel for how you're going to want your design to look. And that's with anything. If you're doing a kid's party, if you're doing a adult party, a wedding, a birthday, anything like that, I suggest that you kind of lay it out first. I've been in event planning for the last two years. Uh, I really, really enjoy it. There's a couple of things that I'm still learning and still working on. But what I've found is that if you set it up, um, maybe like a couple of weeks before at least, draw your design out kind of how you want it to be done. You're going to add and take things away from it as you continue to do the process because you're going to realize, well, this really doesn't look right or I don't like the way that this looks. Because when your client comes in, you want them to be blown away by the design that you've created. 
they're gonna give you, you know, like all these demonstrations or these pictures and things like that of what they want, but you have to make it come to life and you wanna put your best foot forward. Something else that I saw online on eBay Remark was these uh, feathers. So they are purple and they're dripped in gold. I love these. So I'm thinking about these are gonna be used with the napkins and I can kind of tuck those in. I think it's gonna be a pretty good accent and it definitely goes with the balloons. All right, and you definitely are going to have to have place settings. So what we have right here, we have a large charger. This one is gold. I'm thinking about this one. The tablecloth is going to be green, so I'm not really sure uh, if I want to use this one. This one will definitely look nice. And then we can have the purple, we have the green napkin with the purple sticking out. And then I also have these. So if you can see that, the rim of these are gold and I absolutely love them. Love, love, love these. Um, they are acrylic, so they won't, you know, break or anything like that unless somebody's intentionally trying to do it. But it does add a, a more elegant look. I like both of them. You could probably use them together. Just create another dimension to it. And then I could put the other place on top. All right, so these are our other plates. And these are the um, purple and gold plates. So these just came from Amazon. Didn't even take them out the package yet. But what I would do with these is because when they're doubled up together, you can really get the feel or the look of the royal purple color. When they're single, um, when it's a single plate, it's a little bit thinner with the uh, color. You can't really see it as well. So I would definitely be doubling these up. My table is only six feet. So I may only have room for a place setting for two or a place setting for three. Um, and when you're doing your place setting at the pop-up shop, you want to have something that's going to represent your business. So I have a book that I uh, went to the local Walgreens and created. And in the book, it has pictures of just different um, events that I've done that shows a different place setting, that shows balloon columns, things like that, so that people can see what I've done. Since I do event planning and travel, it has both of those in there. Just different trips that I've booked, um, reviews from clients, things like that. I like to have that sitting up here. So keep that in mind when you are doing or preparing for your pop-up shop. Your table is only going to be six feet. Just depends on the size of the area that they're going to give you. Um, and like I said, this is definitely a great way to connect with other people. Um, you may find someone that does um, that creates custom items. I found someone last time at the pop-up shop I did last year in October. Um, we didn't think it was going to be many people to come out due to coronavirus. We were required to wear a mask and we had to be six feet apart. It was so many people, the, the amount that was allowed, it was so many people inside of the pop-up shop because people were just wanting to get out. It was a nice day in October. They were able to come out. I was able to give out a lot of my cards. Um, I did do some follow-up calls for some trips because people were trying to get out. <laughs> they want to be out. They want to be out of the state right now um, just to travel a little bit. But I also got uh, a couple of bookings for birthday parties, uh, graduations, things like that. Uh, even though we have to follow the COVID guidelines, we're still able to um, book some events. So keep that in mind. And you want to put your very um, best foot forward because this table is going to represent you. Whatever you put on this table, people are going to say, ooh, you know, also that's how she run her business. So if my table is messy like this, when people walk in, I wouldn't be interested. And I'm the business owner. So I want to make sure my table is nice and clean and it's elegant and I have something for them. So what I'm thinking about doing is providing cupcakes. Last time I provided cookies. Um, I provided cookies and they paid a dollar for the cookie and that's how I was able to I was able to network with people I would walk up to them and say hey would you like to buy these cookies they're two for a dollar they're a chocolate chip and I was like sure and I'm like okay come on back to my table you can cash at me and that's what started the conversation so if you are nervous about talking to people listen you're a business owner or you're at least aspiring to be one you have to start somewhere and a pop-up shop is a great way to do it Start networking with other people that are in the business or in different businesses, um, for one. And then two, you may meet someone else. Normally at pop-up shops, you don't see a lot of event planners. You just don't. 
Um, there's a lot of people selling lingerie, hair products, um, DJ services. There were a lot of people that do custom treats, things like that. Some of those people I need. I need um, the people that sell lingerie because I put on a, um, a girls, well, an adult women's um, sleepover last year. And I was able to network with the person that was sitting next to my booth because she sold lingerie. So when I had a couple of people to come in, they were able to purchase the lingerie from her. So it's a great way to network. And I'm gonna show you guys how I come up with the table design um, or what I come up with for the table design. Like I said, I'm not really sure about the chair covers because I don't want to throw the purple off. Um, there is a contest at this pop-up shop. The person with the best table wins $100. So you will have a vendor fee that you pay when you are um, going to the pop-up shops as a vendor. You have a fee that you pay. It just depends on what they set. And I think they do it according to how many people they can have within the, um, the space that they're in. 